Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Okay, so before we get into these uh, games, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this section right here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look here. We have some NBA action for uh, January 2nd. So let's take a look at four of the games. Uh, Phoenix and New York. If you take a look at this one here, both teams come in ice cold down. You can see the trends here. Uh, four losses in a row for New York, and Phoenix is two and four over their last six. Um, if you look at the over-under, you can see that both teams have been involved in high-scoring games. You see five over in the last six for Phoenix and, and five over in the last six for New York. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see the downward trend on this chart here for New York. They're at plus 27. They dip all the way down to 15. And you can see the upward trend for Phoenix from 16 up to 20. If you look at the score predictor, Phoenix 119, New York 103, with confidence in prediction of 52.5%. So if that would hold true, that would probably be over the line. But you see that the odds are not posted here. The line has not yet been posted. We'll take a look at that as it gets closer to the game. If you look at the stability factor, you can see that both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favored underdog status. You see the chart here, plus 11 for Phoenix and uh, plus 7 for the Knicks. Uh, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams met back on November the 20th with Phoenix winning by 21 points as a home favorite. So in the end, I like the similar outcome. I do not think it's going to be a blowout of that proportion, but I do like uh, Phoenix to win and in the game going over the line. Okay, the next one we want to look at here is Toronto and Indiana. If you look at this here, Toronto comes in average up. They are winners of two of the last three, but they have they are coming off of a loss to the Clippers. While Indiana is burning hot, they are three and four over their last four. Excuse me, three and one over the last four. Um, if you look at the over-under, you can see that Toronto has been involved in games over the line five out of the last six, whereas Indiana is involved in games under and four out of the last six. So because of that, this would be a good time to avoid that portion of the bet. Um, if you take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, Indiana was at plus 19 and they dipped down to plus 14, while Toronto was stable for a while at plus 3 and they increased up to plus 10. Uh, the score prediction has Indiana by a 127 to 111 margin with 60% level of confidence in the prediction. On the volatility oscillator, you see the stability factor. Not as stable lately. Overall, they're still pretty stable, both teams, 6 to 5 uh, for Toronto uh, over uh, Indiana as far as being more stable. But Toronto was up at plus 11 just uh, three weeks ago, so you can see how much they have dipped since then being very inconsistent um in the head-to-head -head matchups uh see in the first meeting of the season indiana won by 14 at home they were home fair not by that big of a margin they weren't fair by that big of a margin but they won by 14. so in the end i believe that the pacers will come up with a win at home probably by a similar score but i would pass on the over under Next game we want to look at, let's go down through, Denver and Minnesota. Two teams heading in opposite directions. You see Minnesota, the losers of the last four, so they are ice cold down. While Denver won their previous five before losing to Sacramento by a single point, and they are burning hot down. If you look at the score predictor, Minnesota by 115 to 113, with a high level of confidence and prediction of 87% for Minnesota to, to break their losing streak. If you look at the power ranks indicator, Denver, Clearly has the advantage of plus 27 to plus 8. If you look at the head-to-head -head matches between the teams, you see they have not yet met this season. Minnesota won uh, their last three games between the two teams, including two on the road. If you look at the volatility oscillators, you can see that Denver is at plus 10, Minnesota plus 8. So both teams are fairly consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end here, I do think Minnesota will break their losing streak. they got to break it at some point. I feel good about this one. Uh, but it could take overtime to do so. Minnesota to win. Uh, the last one we want to look at for the day is Miami and the Clippers. 
is actually the game of the day. You see both teams come in burning hot. Both teams formed two over their last six, and both teams have won their last two games. If you look at the over-under, you can see that they've been trending on opposite sides of the line. Miami under the line for the last six, while the Clippers over in their last four. Usually when that happens, I try to avoid the over-under bet. If you take a look at the power ranks indicated, you can see an upward, up and downward trend. For the Clippers, they are up to plus 27. And you can see a mainly downward trend from Miami. They were at 19 back on the 20th of December, and they dipped with a little bit of an increase over the last couple of days. They're back up to plus 11. If you look at the stability factor, these two teams are among the most stable in the league. You see near plus 15 for the Clippers, plus 10 for Miami. Both are consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. So how do I feel this is going to play out? Well, in the end, I think this is going to be a Clippers team that will even the score. Go with the Clippers by a few points, uh, but avoid the over-under bet in this one. So there you have it. Happy betting. Happy New Year. And see you next time.